Franca Brown class today. Today we'll be teaching how to make the top for the joggers. So I got my fabric and my measurements. I got this zip here. I'll be putting it at the front. And also my band. I'll, I'll be using the band too while sewing. So let's begin. So first I fold my fabric now into two, as you can see. We are going to cut the way we cut that first top. So I'm going to fold again to four, like this. But this time I'll be leaving a small space here for my zip allowance because I will be adding zip at the front of the fabric. So I'm, I'm giving some space for my zip. So I'm going to fold. Now I'm folding with the widest part of the body. Remember. When you're folding your fabric, you always use the widest part of the body. And here, our widest part is, of our body is the chest, and which is 36. Remember, we always add 4 inch to it. And um, jogger's top does not really hug. It's not really that uh, two-fitted top. Most times, it's normally free. So now, if we're, if we're working with 36 here, this 36, Plus our four is going to give us 40. I'm going to add extra three inch more to make it 43. So I'll be working with 43 now. So you just do the same. Pet of 43. So now 43 divided into four. I got 11. So I'm going to make sure my fabric here is up to 11. So I don't know if you can see very well. So this is my 11 here. I see I have extra inch, but it's okay. I'll be working with this. Then I try to make my fabric equal. At this down part here so I will come again I folded into four I left some space here you can see that this one is not up to this is about one and a half inch this is for my zip um, allowance because I'll be working with zip and then my measurement I added four to it first we are working with 36 this is 36 then we added plus four that gives us 40 then we added extra 3 to it that gives us 43 the reason why we added it is because when making a jogger joggers is a free way just like a cardigan way so you don't really make it too tight it's very free so that's why we're adding so many allowance to it but it's okay why sewing it you can remove any allowance you want to remove so the next thing we're going to do is to take the length so I'm going to start from here and take the length. Here I'll be working with 28. Yes, I know it's a bit short, but joggers does not fall like a normal native attire to wear. Sometimes it just falls on top of the waist. And you also know we're using a band at the top, at the under of the cloth. We're also going to have a band too to the next side. To make it draw together so that's why i'm working with 38 uh, 28 sorry then my band is going to have two inch to it it's going to get to 30 so you can see it's long already so i'm going to rule it so remember that this video is for franca brown we'll be back i got 11 so i'm going to make sure my fabric here is up to 11 so i don't know if you can see very well so this is my level here. I see I have extra in it, but it's okay. I'll be working with this. Then I try to make my fabric equal at this down part here. So I will come again. I folded into four. I left some space here. You can see that this one is not up to. This is about one and a half inch. This is for my zip um, allowance because I'll be working with zip. And then my measurement, I added four to it first. We are working with 36 this is 36 then we added plus 4 that gives us 40 then we added extra 3 to it that gives us 43 the reason why we added it is because when making a jogger joggers is a free way just like a cardigan way so you don't really make it too tight it's very free so that's why we're adding so many allowance to it but it's okay why sewing it? You can remove any allowance you want to remove. So the next thing we are going to do is to take the length. So I'm going to start from here. And take the length. 
Yeah, I'll be working with 28. Yes, I know it's a bit short, but Joggers does not fall like a normal native attire as you wear. Sometimes it just falls on top of the waist. And you also know we're using a band at the top, at the under of the cloth. We're also going to add a band to, to the next side to make it draw together. So that's why I'm working with 38, uh, 28. Sorry. Then my band is going to have 2 inches to it. It's going to get to 30. So you can see it's long already. So I'm going to roll it. So remember that this video is for Franka Brown. We'll be back. To a very small neck like a polo neck so i'm gonna take hair like this now you know on our previous video we took here two and a half for the neck here but yeah i'm gonna take three and a half like this yes it's kind of wide and then here i'm gonna take one and a half it's still the same length to bring it down the only difference is that i'm making it wide because i'm using a band when I'm sewing it, you'll see how it's going to come very small. Yes, it's going to drag very small with the use of the band. You saw it when we, when we applied the band on the trouser yesterday. You saw how it became small. So I'm just going to curve like this. Now, I don't really need a facing to turn this neck. I'm going to use my band to do every turning. And it's going to come out very well. So now this is for the back neck. Yeah, you can see it's kind of wide. Yes, it's kind of wide. So by the time I apply a band, it's going to make it small like this. Like a cardigan neck. So we're through with this back. The next part is to work on is the front. So now I got my front of my fabric. This part that I chopped out from the back, I'm going to place it here. But I'll give small allowance for my zip. Remember, there's a zip here. Then I'm just going to mark to know that here, this is what I got. I'm just going to mark it. So this is the mark. It has to guide me exactly what I need. Then I'm still going to take the length 3 inch down and then curve. So it's going to be like this. Yeah. For the front so my zip now by the time i apply my zip it's gonna fold inside like this and then my band will take over to the rest part so the next part now is to cut the sleeve but we'll be back in a short while the sleeve this my sleeve now i just folded i folded into four as you can see just like the way i folded the main fabric now the half sleeve round is 14 so I added an extra allowance. 14 divided by 2 will give us 7. But I make this one wider. I got about 9.5. Because the hand also is not going to be too tight. It's still going to be free. Then the length here. The length depends on any other length you want. This is 17. Then also know we are going to add a, a band to it. So it's going to give us 19 here. So I'm just going to chop off this extra. I don't need it for now. Please remember this video is from Franka Brown. So now this is the main fabric we need. Remember we removed 4 inch from the top. When making main clothes, I either remove 4 or 4.5. Four so let's work with 4.5 today. From this very top here, I marked 4.5 here. So this is it. This 4.5. Then from this end here, from this very end here, I'm going to make a slope curve like this to meet this my four and a half. I don't know if you can actually see this mark here. So now after we finish making this curve, the next part I'm going to shape in this my down part here with one inch here. So I'm going to mark one inch here. Please, I do not pencil this down part because I'm also going to add a bound. So it's kind of extra wider from what I want. I added extra two inch to it. So I will just make a slant curve like this. So 
so you can see the shape now use that to cut the sleeve so i'm just going to cut it out so you just do the same so as you can see now we already finished cutting our two sleeve like this so we'll just keep this aside then i got this small fabric here i'm going to use it to make pockets for the front it's folded into two depends on how wide you want it to be so what i'm just going to do i'm just going to take my tape here and my shock i'll just take like five and a half inch from here and mark then from here i'll make a curve like five and a half or six let's make use of six so i'm just going to curve it just like the way we curve that uh, jeans pocket so here is going to be for the deepness of the hand inside and here is for our pocket so it's going to be like this so i'm just going to cut so i will just separate these two parts that's for the two sides so it's going to be like this this for the pocket so while i'm sewing i'm just going to take note of this my rough edge and then so that's the end of the class for today see you tomorrow while we do the sewing remember this video is from fracker brown thank you very much and god bless you